Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode six of Let's Try Vambrace Cold Soul. Boom. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to get into some early morning action here from a very cool game. So, man, did you guys see last episode? Wow, it was crazy. If you didn't see that, I highly suggest checking it out because it was pretty wild. Um, there's actually two episodes in one, so um, we're now in, well, it says chapter two, The Merchant. I guess, um, <clears throat> I thought we finished chapter two, though. This is curious. What's going to stick us here? Okay, we're back. And, uh... Yeah, we're pretty beat up. Um... Alright, so let's go ahead and check our notebook. Uh, we're gonna go give the Oxay to Maru. Ask Balthasar to, to decipher the first codex page. And find the coordinates for our next direction. So, let's see. Do we remember where Maru was? I guess we'll find out. So let's head out. I guess it'll mark it on a map. Um, let's see. It's probably up. This would be nobody. curious. I learned to appreciate these quiet moments. It feels like the calm before the storm of doing our next surface run. That's for sure. Here's a codex page. We weren't allowed in here before. The Guardians assemble. The Guardians are a military composed of soldiers from Adena and the free cities of Athera. They undertake expeditions and extended campaigns on behalf of the Alliance. Their purpose is to maintain peace and stability across the realm. Leadership and management over the military arms of the Alliance is divided between ten generals, five or two from each of the five kingdoms. Huh. If we go down here, we're back down where the card is. Alright, so let's now... Um, well, do we want to head up? I think one of the homies is in here. I'm not sure. <laughs> I heard you were able to break through the frost vents leading to the entertainment district. I may have been hasty in judging you so soon. But don't rest on your laurels just yet. The others may feel happy about your accomplishments, but we're still hanging by a threat down here. You saved my life, Celeste. I'm going to earn my keep one way or another. I'm a woman who focuses on results. I like that. This still doesn't mean I trust you, though. Okay, so that's Celeste. Uh, if we come back here and go up further... There is... The card may consider you a friend, but my orders still stand. This chamber is strictly off limits. Sometimes Captain Esquire joins us on routine scavenging missions. Oh, I've always known him to lead by example. Captain Esquire told me about you. He had nothing but good things to say. A friend of his is a friend of mine. Huh. Interesting. Is this a new room? Yes. Landville. Lyric, I saw what you did to the frost fence. It's completely gone. You're welcome. If we remove the rest, your fortunes here may change. I am sure we're on the right path. Please discuss your next move with Zakard and Balthazar. No trip to the surface is to be taken lightly. I've lost too many men even on routine scavenging missions. Please be careful. Okay, so that's everybody in here. There's Landville, Celeste. This is all the big brass in here. 
and also the that other homie, I forget his name. All right, let's roll out and uh, let's see. We've got to go there, 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 there. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff going on to the surface yet. Let's come to the inn. Lost Lady Inn. Oi. Luther, check out my blunderbuss, lassie. Have you ever seen something so awesome? Luther was an important part of our raid team. Oi. Ah, Lyric. You're more persistent than usual, my friend. I'm gonna get you good and there's nothing, wait, wait, you can do about it. Your weapon of choice is a mountain axe? Interesting choice. <laughs> this girl has been with me through thick and thin. We'll manage just fine. <laughs> Welcome back. I see you survived your trip to the surface. How was it? Made some friends. Made a few enemies while I was at it too. Sakaar has placed a great deal of trust in you, lass. In fact, it seems you're the talk of the town. What do you mean? The people of Dale Arch haven't had much to believe in for a long time. News of your successful trip to the Ghost Bazaar is bringing them hope again. News has already spread that Isabel escaped. I also heard you risked your life to track her down for us. I wanted to show my appreciation for your hard work. I fixed your bed and table. It's not much, but maybe you'll be able to rest easier. Thanks, you didn't have to, really. I'll deliver any parcels you've received to your room. If you don't mind, I may also spruce up your place from time to time. I appreciate it, but seriously, you don't need to trouble yourself. Making that old storage room feel a little more like home is the least I can do. I still have my pride as a hostess to consider. Huh? Anyway, if you ever want to chat, feel free to visit the bar. Now go and get some rest. Right, forgot about our room. There's Fox here. Seems the rumors were true after all. Princess Lorelei is here. I'd still be skeptical if I'd not seen the lady with my own eyes. Guess I'm not the one with egg on my face now. <laughs> Working girl. Now that you've moved into the Lost Lady, I suppose you're familiar enough with the inn not to trip and bust your head. <laughs> Yep, I reckon my reputation will be pretty high after all this. Never been sidekick material myself. There's Jin Wu, very important member of our team. I don't know where everybody else is, though. Ah. The adventurous returns. Have time for a chat? Speak with her. Sure, what's going on? I haven't introduced myself yet. Charlotte Lorelei. What's up, Charlotte? You look excited. Aha, you see that spark in my eye. I've just procured valuable information concerning the whereabouts of a legendary drought treasure. Ever hear of the Tantini? Tantini? What's that? Truth is, I don't have much info to go on. The drought won't talk about it, but I overheard a rumor from Nare at the market. They call it the Snare of the Naziri, and it's only bestowed on the most powerful female of their tribe. Sounds like a valuable relic indeed. What do you have in mind? It stands to reason that such a relic should be in the possession of its rightful owner, namely the most powerful woman in Dale Larch, me. You want to steal it from the Naziri? Are you aware these are master assassins you're dealing with? Well, the idea had occurred to me. If you were so inclined to help a sister out, I could make sure that you're suitably rewarded for the trouble. If you want it so badly, why don't you do it yourself? You don't need to steal it, steal it just yet. I just want more information. I've been persona non grata with the drow ever since I mentioned it. Maybe you can talk to them. Hmm, what did Nere have to say about this? Even she's getting suspicious. I didn't tell her everything I know. If she knew the Tantini's true value, her sneaky henchman, Mahram, would be on it like white on rice. Well, it's clearly an intriguing proposition. I'll keep this on the download and see what I dig up little quest and I'm getting stuffy for no good reason at all. Maybe you should consider getting a room with the lost lady since you're here over here so often. Hey, I already got one near the market. Where do you stay? It's a total dump in the slums. All the good spots were taken by the time I was finally back on my feet. Dang shame. You drifters always draw the short straw. 
community announcement. Dearest patrons of the Lost Lady popping in, it's come to my attention that many of you have been leaving empty mugs. Oh, yeah, we heard that. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. So I guess let's go to our room. We have a change of clothes. Actually, we found a secret uh, clothes change in here. I guess we can rest, but I don't want to start the the day up. If we come in here, not sure what the purpose of that was. Civvies, a Denny garb. Oh, it must be somewhere here. Carbon suit, a body suit constructed from an advanced polymer, good for hunting space pirates. Should I wear this? Yes. That is awesome. Um, should I sleep now? Not right now. I want to explore a bit more. Alright, let's head to... Dwarven area. Argor Manor. The drifters have been loitering around places they clearly should not be. If it were up to me, I'd run up a lot of them and send them back to the surface. I tried using a human weapon once. It was light and flimsy. Someone should teach them the finer details of smithing. This is the Loyalist Manor. You're permitted access only through Lord Hakon's generous permission. King Agram is still out there somewhere. His life is now in the hands of Prince Gunnar and Lord Hakon. Were we allowed in here before? I don't think so. Those stairs lead to King Agram's chambers. However, Prince Gunnar is currently fulfilling the Lost King's duties. He's busy now. Walk away, human. What do you need, Adeni? We're busy. If you need the assistance of my warriors, why don't you check the recruitment board? I'd wager there's still a few dwarves left who'll lend you the aid of their axes. Have you heard of the legendary hammer Grimnir? It was forged by a master smith using molten mithrum. I think we've read a lot of this. Dwarves have enough to deal with between the thieving fox ear, proud elves, and sneaky drow. Humans are the worst, though. They excel at all manner of troublemaking. Okay, I guess we could go up, though. No, we, no, we can't. I'm gonna take a quick break here and spray some nasal spray so I'm not driving you guys nuts with my... nasalities and banalities. Be right back. Hello, guys, we're back. Alright. So here we are, let's get into it. Um, it says there's a quest there. That's weird. Who was the quest in, uh, Argra Manor? Huh. I don't know, that's weird. But anyway, let's continue. Um, let's head into... Downtown here, the Foxier Market. News has spread that the path to the Ghost Bazaar is open now. The trading grounds are looking livelier. Keep moving. Anything new today, Yeso? By the tale of Hong Gildong himself, it's all coming back to me. I saw you in my dream last night. What are you talking about? A poster. I saw a poster with your face on it. I'd recognize those eyes anywhere. Ask her about the dream. I'm intrigued. What was this dream about? It's all a bit hazy. I was in a strange land called Korea. 
I was trapped in a dark building with a stranger and a murderous psychopath. So I was there with you? No, you were not part of it. I was with a boy who couldn't scamper more than a few feet without running out of breath, weak and slow. I was alone when I saw a poster bearing your likeness. You're really not making sense. Uh, tell her she's confused. We'll ask about dealing with Gerard. I met a wraith merchant on the surface named Gerard. I'll probably have to do business with him, so I was hoping you could give me some tips. Ask about ghost merchant wares. Sometimes I get the feeling that he has more goods than he's offering up for sale. The spooks are a fickle lot. He may offer more if you let someone charming do the talking. Oh. Right, merchantry. Um, ask about earning Hellion. How does one earn Hellion? Unless you have, have bounty, scavenging is the best way to earn Hellion here. You can make a small fortune with your goods at this very market. I found a lot of useful goods at the surface, but I couldn't haul everything back. The safety of your team should come first. If they are overburdened with scavenged goods, their effectiveness on the field will be compromised. You'll still need to be smart. Learn to judge what items to keep by their weight and value. Balance what you'll need for the expedition and what you can safely carry for profit. That's enough. Um, tell her she's confused. Maybe you've mistaken me for someone from your past? Odd eyes and dirty blonde hair like you? No way. I had the same dream before you even arrived. Now that I've had it again, I remember everything. How strange it was. Maybe it's a premonition of sorts. If you remember any more details later, let me know. Alright, anyway, what may I help you with today? Mind if I see what you have for sale today? Sure, have a look. Anything in particular you're looking for? There's just got a fur vest and a kit. Um, we'd actually have to sell what we have, which is a bunch of this stuff. Um, maybe some of these healing goods. All right, let's see. We want to sell the bullion chip. Don't know what the ectoplasm is for. Seven seventy-seven for the luxury items. Wait forty. Oh, son. Still command a high price from the right people. I wonder if she's the right people, though. I mean, that is a nice price, but could it go for even higher? Um, we'll sell it. <laughs> Pretty nice. Now, um, I gotta look at crafting to see what we need to craft stuff. Alright, I'll be seeing you around. And then he ran out there like a bat out of heck. You should have seen it. How the heck does he keep getting into these scrapes? Uh -huh. My favorite human, what are you looking for? Herbal bomb. It's got cheap perfume. This cheap perfume is popular amongst the shanty harlots of Dale Arch. Virgin Tree 1, health max 2, combat minus 1. Dousing rod, the basic tech of these rods can sense traps and stall beneath the ground. Awareness 1, health plus 2, combat minus 1. Have a nice day, my lady. I don't think I want to take anything that makes combat go down. Did you hear? The Ghost Bazaar is open for business again. I heard some outlander cleared the way. Apparently she can walk right through frost fences. Just a rumor, I'm sure. Tales from the surface always get exaggerated. Alright, let's walk through here. Here we have... Another day, another crunch shift. Our homeland is so much brighter than gloomy Dockheim. I really miss our lush islands. A lot of our people don't know that the fox here are able to communicate in the beast languages. Still have to make an effort to study, though. <laughs> Lyric, my favorite customer. Thanks to your efforts, business is booming. Hope has returned to the people of Dale Arch. Ask about the treasure. Nuray, what could you tell me about the Tantini? Tantini? Never heard of it. What are you talking about? Mentioned Charlotte. I don't know. Charlotte told me everything. Don't lie. 
I still don't know what you're talking about. Maybe if you told me what Miss Lorelai said, it might refresh my memory. Tell her what I know. I'm a bad liar, so I'll cut to the chase. I know about the Tantini, the so-called snare of the Naziri, a relic only possessed by the most powerful Naziri female. Charlotte wants it, and I'm helping her find it. Huh, so it's more valuable than Miss Lorelai would have led me to believe. She told me the rumors of its power was just an old wives' tale, but I knew she was lying. Must be an enchanted Naziri crown for the Supreme Blood Mage. As the most powerful woman in the city, the Tantini rightfully belongs to me. So here's my counter deal. I tell you the location of the Tantini and double whatever Charlotte said she'd give you for it. So we have a deal? Come on, I'm no thief, and stealing from the Naziri is a suicide mission. It's with Satara, but she's too old for the title of most powerful female. Time for a new generation to rise to the occasion. But you're right, stealing from the Naziri is no joke, especially Satara. Well, unlike Lorelai, I'm not a sneaky little thief. There's no reason we can't do this the old-fashioned way. Hey, send M to Satara's tent. It's time we negotiate with her for the Tantini. Yes, ma'am. What? She's going to beat me to the punch. It sounds like the treasure is in Satara's tent. Looks like I might have to get my hands dirty. I'm confused by that. Like, I'm not really understanding it. The beckoning fox. This traditional statue's common talisman of luck for the fox here. I know we did most of this, but... Were we able to come down here? I don't remember all these accountants, bruh. Helion is quite worthless in its own right. It was originally burnt as an offering to our ancestors in the homelands. Oh, I do remember that. Even though contact with the spooks of the Ghost Bazaar has been reestablished, the constant need for supplies has been an ongoing issue. 10, 20, 30, 40. Huh, I'm so glad it's payday. 50, 60, 70. We've printed and enchanted more Helion to do business with the Ghost Bazaar. Supply runs are going smoothly now. The boss looks a lot happier now that the situation isn't so dire. Oh, Maru. Lyric, as I live and breathe, I'm so happy to see you return. I do hope you've come bearing a certain gift. I made it to the Ghost Bazaar and met Man Duke. Did you find the Oxe? Yeah. Yes, Man Duke sends it to you with her blessings. I have not laid eyes on this in some time. I thought it had surely been lost in the frozen wastes above. With this seal, I now carry the North Venture Company's official standard in Dockheim. You have done a great service to us all. Your generosity will never be forgotten. I will inform all Foxier merchants to give you the VIP treatment. Furthermore, I'll have an artisan craft a toy in your likeness. The children will really love that. Huh, well, if you're happy, I'm happy. I must get back to work now. There's much I must attend to. North Venture Company VIP, I put my trust in the living. We shall speak again soon. You receive the company badge. Whew, business is back on track. Uh. Okay, can't go that way. So I did want to give it to him over the ghost. I don't know. Just seemed like a smarter move. this way oh huh. well I'll be fox here too the fox here are natural born adventurers with an inherent sense of wanderlust their enterprising spirit combined with the pragmatic knowledge they've gained from traveling the world and interacting with other races affords them a distinct advantage over contemporary races the Foxier now possess the world's largest trading fleet, navy, and have cultivated a reputation for their roguish charm. A famous saying in the Azadal states, or in Azadal states, thrift is not an affair of one's purse, but of the heart. Good. Maharam, you've got that look in your eyes. Are you also poking around for clues on the infamous snare of the Naziri? So, you've heard of it, and how did you know? Oh, I've heard of it. <laughs> Let's just say information on the relic is scarce and in high demand amongst a few women here. What untold power does the Tantini hold? You're not getting a word out of me, my lady. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to Nore. Ew, is there anything you won't drink? 
Hey, have you tried this Zeddy stuff? The humans really know how to craft a fine brew. All right, we heard most of this. Was there anything down there? Uh oh. Alrighty. Let's roll out. Uh, give us the VIP treatment, so which means... Well, everything is still the same price. Don't tell me selling prices are up, because then, you know, I already sold the luxury goods. Do I have to equip the company badge or something? Gerard's key said this key would allow us to enter the merchant's court. Paper looks like it was ripped from a book. It is written in my father's hand, but its content is legible to me. Company badge with this full authority, with this full authority restored, Maruhan's first action was to make me a living mascot of the North Venture Company. Merchantry plus two, slight plus one, health max plus five, only lyric. Huh. That is interesting. But her her merchantry now. I don't know. It's it's the same as the top in the party, so we're not getting any actual real deal here. Uh. I don't know what to buy yet. Do we go to the healing place? To get healed up, Miss Silvani? Route to the Ghost Bazaar has been cleared. That's great news. We'll finally be able to procure the medical supplies we've needed for so long. here Master Derivere What are you doing back here? I have many things to attend to Please try not to get in the way Progress has been saved for the healing holes. <clears throat> well, some beat up people there. Maybe this isn't where we heal. Elves too. Elves are the longest lived race and have such developed cultural institutions and traditions which span centuries. From an outsider's perspective, their culture and society may seem to be in stasis, but this is a grave misjudgment. The elves are remarkably resilient and often deal with their problems using counterintuitive methods. They are uniquely gifted in the art of hedge magic, which can be used to manipulate the magical properties of plants for powerful healing effects still coping with the loss of my hand. Everything that happened is still a blur for me. At least most of us made it back. We can actually go up further. Be the Savani matriarch. She looks amazing. Outlander, you wish for an audience with me, but this is not the time. We may speak later. Sorry for disturbing you. Huh. Be 
But yeah, guys, there is no way to save mid-run, so whenever we do a run, which we're not doing this episode, we're going to go ahead and do the whole run because it'd be a waste to do anything less. Uh, let's come in here and have our book page uh, deciphered. You have much on your mind, Prince Gunnar. I will send for you when I have learned more from these ancient tomes. Thank you, Balthazar. I shall take my leave now. Huh? A face I've never gazed upon. You must be the Adeni they say destroyed the ghost fence. Please visit Arkham Manor before you leave again. I would like a word with you. Huh. That's the quest. All right. Oh. Hmm. New pages of the Codex. The fashioning of Lunera. The All-Mother was unsatisfied with her creation. She wandered through the vast expanse of cosmos until she found an agreeable heaven, which suited her well for striving. She produced a frozen moon and warmed it with her breath. Wearing her van braces, she brought a land of divine symmetry filled with brilliant crystal arches, diamond-faceted surfaces, fields of mana, and clear-flowing water. She named this moon Lunera. Uh, moon. Hello. Excuse me, sir. The card sent me to speak with you. And why does he send a girl to disturb my studies at this ungodly hour? I heard you know how to navigate the ascending room to the residential district discreetly. Second, he says you might know what to do with this. Where did you find this? Let me see. Intriguing. This page is written in Arconic script. Do you have the original tome to which this page belongs? Yes, it is part of this book. My father, the late Dr. Nicolau Lyric, left it for me in a data. Everything is written in this script. I can read some passages, but this one is illegible. No, I do not expect you would have the knowledge to read this. May I? Hmm, this tome is a Codex Illuminus. Those familiar with the script could record sensitive information without fear of it being compromised, should it fall into the wrong hands. The fascinating thing about Arconic Script is that it's completely indecipherable. It only reveals itself as legible print to those who are meant to understand it. I'm not surprised that it belonged to the esteemed Dr. Lyric. He was, after all, an expert on the Archons and their ways. You can read some of these passages. At the time, the rest of these pages may reveal their secrets to you. This page looks to be written in his hand. Let me draw your attention to the front of the Codex. This page fits here, and the most peculiar thing is this. I can read the writing on the page you brought me. If what you say is true, then your father not only intended for you to find this, he wanted you to bring it to me. But for what purpose? Isn't that too much of a coincidence? What secrets could be worth protecting this much? He taunts me in death with a scavenger hunt. The Archons work in mysterious ways. You're even wearing one of their relics. This is no coincidence, my dear girl. My father's note said this van brace was the only way to enter Eisner. Who among us truly understands the old ones? Perhaps someone or something has been guiding you here from the moment you put it on. At any rate, I have deciphered your page. It is back in the Codex where it belongs now. If you require my assistance again, I shall be here doing what old Tome Masters do best. Thank you, sir. You received the page of the Codex. Your perk level increased. Please call me Balthazar. In the meantime, I'll ensure the ascending room is ready to take you to your next destination. Go with the All Mother. You unlock your first perk point. Use the Van Brace icon in the bottom right corner of the screen to access perks. Bottom left, use another page of the Codex. Birth of the Archons. The All-Mother wandered the surface of Lunera until she found an agreeable ground, which served her well for contriving. She sculpted the Archons, known to us as the Old Ones and the Firstborn, from Diamond and breathed into them the breath of life. She touched them with the aspect of restraint, and they have been the only witnesses of her many hands at work ever since. And what was the other note that got translated?
Mississippi, the unfettered co- the Great Reckoning. The unfettered cosmos is in flux. The home of the eternal flame is besieged by war and calamities of an unnatural character. The followers, second children, contend against an eldritch wisdom of which they understand little. Despite their gifts, they are woefully outmatched and the survival of their kind is not guaranteed. Should they survive the great disturbance, a period of peace and complacency will follow. So that's what's going on now. Ask Balthazar. Okay, meet Prince Gunnar. So we have to do that next. Very cool. Uh, keep looking around, though. Lyric, how can I help you? That's about Dale Arch. Why does a place like Dale Arch exist below ice there? After the incident, Zakhar and I brought as many survivors here as we could. The truth is, we were the only ones who knew of Dale Archer's existence. Its location had been kept a secret for centuries. I don't have the time to divulge the details, but it was used extensively by the Augurs as a base of operations. Ask about the Eldritch Library. You have to admit it's kind of strange to find a library in a place like this. The uninitiated may find such things peculiar. This library is filled with hundreds of rare scrolls and tomes. The knowledge gathered here is staggering. This very collection was assembled by the Augurs while they were conducting their campaigns across the Five Realms. What kind of campaigns? They were hunting the Archons. Seriously? That is a story for another time, my girl. Never mind. Sorry to bother you. Okay, we can go down. And another page. Wow, I love it. Creation of Athera. The All Mother desired to create a lasting testament to her creation of cosmos. She produced a molten world and cooled it with her breath. With her van braces, she wrought high mountains, low hills, and flat fields on the world's surface. She created rifts and valleys, filling the deepest of these with rivers, lakes, seas, and oceans. She seeded these places, then shaped all manner of fauna from clay, and placed their dormant bodies throughout the lands and waters. Another note. Huh. Creation of Athera. She secured the flame eternal in the heart of this world, and life flourished. The seeds sprouted, and rich flora spread across the world's surface. The fauna awoke and migrated the land. She fashioned the seven colossi. Colossi, gargantuan creatures from ma mountains. She tasked them to be the world's sleeping sentinels and attuned their senses to the world's harmonic resonance. She named this world Ethera. Cool. Now let's check the perk stuff once we get out of here. We still have to rest. What was it? Oh. And apparently we have to check every single place again because they all are teeming with new uh, codex pages very good so let's we can't do it out here we have to do it in a place okay let's head to the barracks seems we can go everywhere in here now but let's see how long are we playing 38 minutes, so I'm not going to pick a perk now, but let's see. We'll go through them quickly. Lionheart Health plus 4, Wolf Tenacity Vigor plus 2, War Dog Combat plus 1, Cat Burglar Slate plus 2, Snake Charmer Merger Tree plus 2, Eagle Eye Awareness plus 2, Night Hour Overwatch plus 2, Pack Horse Capacity plus 2. Aw, oh, son. Sorry, capacity plus 20, not 2. <laughs> it says 25 at the bottom, though. We'll um, think about that and pick one next time. So right now, we're just going to look around. But uh, I want to say thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, this is the war room. What am I thinking? We've been in the barracks. Uh, thank you guys so much. Appreciate you all very much. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy... Please consider dropping a like uh, with a thumbs up. Not only does it help this video, it greatly helps the channel. And 
just in general it is awesome so i hope you would do that but it's up to you guys also you can drop a comment let me know what you think subscribe if you're new hit the notification bell but only do any of those things if you really want to that's what i mean it's like it's up to you guys no pressure at all it's all good i do hope to see you guys next time with more because more is to come next time we'll get ready for another run uh, we'll do some crafting as well i may go oh wow look at that we just need a looks like a lock pick or something and we can build the trickster's belt health plus seven slight plus one This isn't cheap perfume, this is normal perfume. Merch tree plus one, awareness minus one rather than combat. And this is a proper divining rod. We need four ectoplasm for that. Can't be kit, we need two more junk and something else. We need a fur vest, three splints, and we can build this. Bigger plus four, health plus eight, awareness minus one. But yeah, guys, um, hope to see you next time. We'll explore this more. Very fun. Uh, so yeah. Until next time, guys, be well, live well, and stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. Just kind of scratching the surface here. Much more to come. Bye-bye for now.